Hello and welcome back to Alan Wake. It's time to break into Hartman's office and finally get that guy. We assume he's locked in here. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea- Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Well, shit, that's not good, is it? Things are coming to get us. Uh, well, we got some manuscript pages in any case. Well, one at least. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Alright, so that's how I eventually ended up here in any case. I don't have a flashlight. I can't get rid of that. Oh god, what? Oh jeez, that's a dark presence. Okay. Oh god, it's crawling towards me. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I expected. Okay, it's slowly crawling towards me. We gotta go right now. Okay. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Light, light. How do I get light? Upstairs? Upstairs. The generator. That's got to be what it is. Oh, God. Is the dark still chasing me? Because if it is, it's going to catch me in just a second. Yes, it's blinking green, which means we can definitely turn this thing on. I missed it. No. Okay, it's going to slowly break through all those one by one. By the time I get down, we should be good to go and I can get out of here. Oh god, the dark is still climbing towards us, by the way. In case you weren't aware, it is still coming towards us. Come on, man. Okay, we got a flare at least. Oh, the dark's in all these windows. There's bears in front of me. How do I get out of here? Oh, the flare. Duh, the flare I literally just picked up. What are you doing, Alan? Think for a second. Sucks, because I really wanted to save that flare, but I guess that was the only way we were getting out. Oh, look, a manuscript page. This seems like a perfect time to stop and give that a little bit of a read. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Okay, so wait a minute. He just wanted to be a producer? He just wanted to take people's content and, and help produce it? Why did he go about it in such a weird... Why didn't you just become a producer? <laughs> he did that in such a weird way. Okay, that's not happening, I guess. How would one get out of here if not through there? Oh, okay, it's going to help me a little bit. Yep, come after me one more time. I need you to bust this down, please. Just about there. Perfect. All right, thank you. Excuse me. I'm going to, ow, run into you. Oh, jeez. I can't get out. Okay, we're going to have to have... Have it bust down this door. Oh, 
Oh god! Okay, we're gonna have to dodge it one more time. Oh no! Come on, I totally dodged that. I don't believe that for a second. Alright, well at least now I understand what I have to do, but... Oh, it's so hard to dodge. It's so hard to dodge. Yes, run into the door, please. And one more time so that I fully understand what I'm supposed to do. Why, thank you, and excuse me as I run past you. Perfect. Okay, now we have to dodge it a single more time. I'm going to stand to this side so I have plenty of room to move to my right, just like that, and now we escape. We run as fast as we possibly can. Ow, ow, I'm here. Perfect, thank you. Did you get a car? Did you complete that part of the mission that I gave you? I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're going to have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh, thanks. But I have to go through a hedge mage, and that... That does not sound like much fun. Yeah, I see it. I see it. It's a haunted house. That's terrible, actually. Okay, we gotta get out of here. We gotta put something between me and that thing. Otherwise, it's gonna kill me! Ouch. I am trying to get out of there. Believe me, it is number one on my priority list, Barry. I am working on it. How do I get out of here? I have to get into the hedge maze and get through it somehow. Oh, here. Here's where we get through it. Oh, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. It was a maze to try to get through. Yeah, you know, they're going to run into me and scare me out here in the hedge maze, and there's not a lot I can do about that. Was there one on both sides? I'm backing up because I don't know if there's two of them. Looks like not. There's just batteries this direction, but I think I do need to go the same way as the scary, spooky people. Hello? Oh, ho, ho! I knew there was more than one of you. Don't trust email? Don't trust email? Who's email? Whoever it is, I can't trust them, that's for sure. The rock painting has said so, and the rock painting has literally never lied to me. Who's there? I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Oh, those two guys, the two biker guys, going to have a concert? Are we going to get to listen to a concert? <laughs> That'd be kind of amazing. All right, into the spooky, spooky maze. Yes, hello? I can see them moving around. They're coming for you. You know, Barry, I was already fully aware of bad, scary people coming for me. I don't know what you want me to do about it. Yeah, I heard him, his little tippy-tap feet running after me. It's not going to work if you thunderfoot around. I'll know exactly where you are. You have to be sneaky. You have to make the sneaks on me. Yeah, similarly... Oh, jeez. Okay, that ended up working out in the end, but that was really actually kind of horrifying. Where'd the other two go? There's one now. Okay, well that actually got a little precarious, but we made it through. I have exactly one flare left to use, and I'm going to have to save it for spooky guys. I don't know if this is the right direction at all. Oh, we made it! We made it to the end! We're out of here! And there was some spooky guy talking about TV. <laughs> I don't know where he is. He's, he's over here somewhere. Oh, but I think we're going to have to find out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me in the next episode when we finally proceed out of this hedge maze.
You guys have a good one.